So then, I'm on the phone with her and, and shit and all that. So I'm talking to her. And then he in the background, I'm like, nah, nigga, you can't come over here, nigga. Fuck you. I'm like, bitch, I'll come over here no matter what. I don't give a fuck what you say, nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Let me catch my breath. Yeah. Let me count these checks. What? Flex on my ex. Yeah. Yeah. I don't got no respect. I don't, I don't. Break up in the text. What? Pull up in the G. Yeah. T3, fly off in a jet. Before this video even start, all I want to say is, I'm going to get mad as fuck. Because every time I tell this story to people, I get mad as fuck. So, if I cuss around this video, just know I'm probably mad as fuck. Because these niggas ain't shit out here, and these bitches ain't shit out here neither. So, before the video, you see me get mad as fuck, I already let you know. Man, YouTube, man, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. It's your boy, Ronnie, one time, you feel me? Ronnie X in the motherfucking building, man. You already know what I'm saying, man. And, and we back with another story time, man. But the story today is, though, bro, that just know when I tell y'all this story, bro, first part, I got jumped. You know what I'm saying? I got jumped. You feel me? I learned three things that day. One, niggas is not going to fight for you. Two, Bitches will set your ass up. That, like, that's real shit. Every time I tell this story, bro, I really get mad as fuck. Like, I get mad. Cause, but if you new to the channel, bro, y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that subscribe button. And on this video, man, make sure y'all go like and comment. And show love to the video. And go watch my last recent video that I just dropped, man. Y'all already know what the fuck going on, man. It's the 2019 takeover, man. Shit, let's get to the video. Alright, so look, it was me. And two of my old niggas and shit. So we just came back from the party. We got shut down, whatever. Boom. So we go back to my crib. And I mind you that my mama, she gone for the weekend. Then she had a car right there. So then I ain't get my, I ain't have my L's yet. But I was like, you know what? I'm about to go try to get some pussy and all that shit. So you feel me? But I had a feeling to my show, like, bro, don't drive it. You feel me? Like, and then I asked, I asked like one of my old niggas, whatever. Asked them, like, bro. I like, y'all take me over here, you know what I'm saying? Just pick, pick up and bring it back to my crib. He's like, all right, man. So then, we on the way there and shit. Everything's smooth, whatever. But then, before we got there, I called old girl, like, shit, what's up? We still gonna kick it? She like, yeah, feel me? Like, other shit. So, this nigga, so this nigga that was with her and shit, I knew him everything already and all that, other, all that other shit. But, like, you feel me? Like, we kicked it and all that. But, like, my, but like one of my uh, other niggas and shit, that was like his friend. That wasn't my friend. That was nothing like that. Like, you feel me? Like, I already like him for real. Cause to me, he was just one of them niggas that, that was just like, you don't need to be around him, basically, like, type shit. Like, so then, I'm on the phone with her and shit and all that. So I'm talking to her. And then he in the background, I'm like, nah, nigga, you can't come over here, nigga. Fuck you. I'm like, bitch, I'll come over here no matter what. I don't give a fuck what you say, nigga. Like, you ain't my fucking dad, nigga. Like, that ain't so bitch. You feel me? That bitch, like, she's a god. Like, you feel me? Like, why you get mad over females for? Like, nigga, like, she wants, like, she wants to fuck. Like, what you mad for? Like, you feel me? Like, she, she's a thought. Like, in the city where I'm from, you feel me? Like, if you heard the story before, I told you about the story, but you know what it is. Like, I ain't gonna speak on it, you know? I think y'all phone shit. I'm like, you feel me? Like, nigga, you ain't my, nigga, like, fuck you think you talking to, you feel me? I ain't scared of no nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought, like, I had my niggas with me, so shit ain't finna pop off that easy. Like, you feel me? I ain't go by myself and shit, whatever. So then, we got there and shit, so, me and my other nigga, we got the car, and my other nigga, Joe, he sat in the car and shit, he on, he on the street, and me and him, and me and the other dude, we on the porch or whatever. So then, y'all probably noticing that, like, I keep saying old niggas, cause like, they my old niggas, but they some bitches, like, I can't say that was my nigga, like, no, like, they some hoes, what they did. And so then, we talking to two of the bitches on the porch and shit, so she got her friend with her, so, the other friend, that's my sister that was, feel me? That's my sister. My brother talked shit before I got there and all that other shit. So then we just talking to him shit, like, you feel me? Everything's smooth and all that other shit. And then, you feel me? She like, I'm like, so what's up? Like, you feel me? You, gonna, you coming over or not? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then she was like, yeah, come meet uh, such and such mom. So then I'm like, bro, like, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. You want to meet your mom? So then I told myself, I'm like, yeah, like, something ain't right. Like, I said, yeah, fuck it, you playing. I'm like, I was about to get up through, bro. 
And then my other nigga, he bought like the car and shit. And my other nigga, he still in the car just sitting there. So I'm walking down, I'm walking down the porch and shit. So then I see niggas come around the corner, like behind the house. So I'm like, oh shit, so you feel me? I start running down, like you feel me? But then all I see was two niggas, so it was Brett that was talking shit and his other nigga. So then I'm like, oh shit, you feel me? I got, it's three gets two, you feel me? Like, we about to whoop the niggas. Like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, we about to beat they ass. Like, we, we outnumbered them. So then, you feel me, like, we started fighting, like, you see me, I ran up to the niggas, like, what's up, like, and then I'm like, it's two of them, and it's three of us, so I'm thinking, like, we about to beat these niggas, like, it's all my niggas, like, you feel me, so, we, so 15, 20 seconds pass, I'm like, bro, where the, where the fuck is they at, like, where is y'all at, and then, like, niggas, and my, then, like, bro, he was in the car, so this nigga, his scary ass, you literally drove down the street, bro. We about to leave me and my and my other old nigga ass, bro. Like he's really finna leave it, bro. And then, like, you feel me? My other nigga, my other old nigga, he didn't do shit neither. But like, I can say, I can say thank you for like letting him like get him off me at least and shit. You feel me? It was two against one. But then, you feel me? Like he dropped, bro, dropped down the street. So then. Me, my, my other, you know what I'm saying, like, we running, like, the car and shit, and all that other shit. So then, I was like, you feel me, like, so I got in the car, bro. Man, first thing I'm thinking, like, I just got set up, I just got jumped, and my so-called friends, my niggas, they ain't do, bro, they ain't do shit for me, bro, like, they really ain't do shit for me, bro, like, I was mad as fuck, so look, I'm leaking, like, my nose bleeding, and all that other shit, but, like, you feel me, like, them niggas that look for ain't do no damage, like, that little cut, and I ain't shit, you feel me, like, I ain't get no black eye, none of that shit, cause they so then, I'm in the car, I'm like, why the fuck y'all ain't help me, like, what the fuck happened, and then, like, my other, my other nigga, he in the back, he just lost, like, like, you feel me, like, shit ain't just happened, and then, I'm mad as hell, I got blood on my hands, smacking it, on this, uh, smacking in front of his car and shit, whatever, inside the car. And this bitch ass nigga gonna say, Bro, you got blood on my seat. Bro, I looked at this nigga like, I mean, I ain't never slapped somebody so hard, bro. Like, I really slapped this nigga when I said this shit. And the exact words I said, I said, Bitch, I should really beat your ass right now. Well, you lucky your ass take me home. And shit. And then my, then my other old nigga in the back, I tell him, like, you a bitch too, but, like, you got the niggas off me, so I'm going to thank your little bitch ass for that. But, like, don't text me, don't call me, none of that shit. And then, like, the thing about it was, like, all this shit, like, I could have prevented this, like, you feel me? My, like, knowing me, I used to be, like, a hothead and shit, like, I ain't give a fuck, like, you feel me, like... I, in my head, I was like, bro, like, she not about to happen, you know what I'm saying, like, ain't nothing about to happen, I was about to pick her up, you feel me, like, because, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, this, like, this is my fault, I could've just prevented this, bro, because I had a feeling in my gut, like, bro, don't go over there, but I was like, ain't shit gonna happen, but, like, always, like, whatever in your gut, bro, you, like, you feel me, you need to do, like, but, and then, like, I wasn't beefing with, bro, but, like, my other homeboy, not, not, not two of my old homeboys who was with me, but my other, uh, friend, like, they was, like, beefing because, I guess, bruh, bro, this house and shit. Because we already know you probably did, so listen, bro. This nigga ain't take no TV, ain't take me. Like, my homeboy had hella shoes, hella design clothes, the paint, bait, whatever you want to call it. Like, you feel me? He had all that. But we, because, listen, I remember that my homeboy got robbed, bro. His house got robbed, like, bro, like. You feel me? They ain't take nothing but shoes and clothes, bro. You know, you know a kid, like, somebody you know did that shit. And then, Bud and them, they sit, and Bud, they stay in the same apartment complex. So, like, it was low-key, like, obvious, but, like, we couldn't pinpoint who did it. And with the bitch, that set me up. And then, I ain't, I'm sorry, like, I ain't trying to call no bitch, but, like, she set me up. So, that bitch a bitch, you feel me? But, this bitch, like, you feel me? I called her, like, yeah, you know it's over, right? Like, you feel me? Like, you know you fucked up and shit. And then, like, basically, like, where I got jumped at and shit, from what I heard and all that, she'd go home for a week. Like, you feel me? Like, she was scared because she knew she fucked up. But, like, now, though, like, you feel me? I'll be thinking about that, like, because, like, the other nigga that jumped me, like, we already, like, we talked about it, like, he said, like, it was lame shit, but I'm like, I'm like, alright, you feel me? But, like, I can't be no cool with you and shit like that. Like, I ain't even trying to speak to you in public. Like, we ain't, like, just know we ain't got no problem. That's all you need to know. And then, he was like, alright, babe, you feel me?
like the main one I was in it, like the main nigga that like was really trying to fight me for real, like, bro, bitch, that's all I gotta say. You feel me? Like, I remember that when I first happened, I was like, if I see him again, bro, like, it's really over. Like, it's slow. Like, it's on site. Like, you feel me? But, like, I'm like, bro, I'm never gonna see this nigga. Like, you feel me? Like, this nigga doing bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, I was playing football and all that. So, I'm like, I ain't about to jeopardize, you feel me, football and shit. And get, like, locked up in, like, some little goofy shit or whatever. Like, type shit. Because, like, some shit you have to let go. And then, like, for a minute, I'm like, bro, I'm not letting that go. But, like... You feel me? Like, I lost that day. Like, you feel me? Like, everybody take an L. Like, and it wasn't no one on one. So, it was one on one. You feel me? You already know the fuck. Like, that shit ain't gonna happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, the funny thing about it is, though, like, this nigga told people that. Listen, he told people that, bro. I promise y'all, bro. This should not happen. He told people that he beat my ass. I ain't get jumped. And then. I, we was on the ground, like, we was on the ground, bro. I, bro, we did not touch that ground, like, one time, bro. Like, I think I had, like, a white t-shirt on or some shit. So, my shirt didn't get dirty. The only time he got dirty was when, like, I was bleeding. Like, I had blood on my car. I had blood on my shirt in the car or whatever. But, this nigga gonna tell people who top me beat my ass. And then, the thing about it is, though, like, pussy was playing with my head that day. Like, I was thinking about pussy. Like, I wasn't really thinking if that makes sense, like... You feel me? Cause like, I'm not even gonna lie, females can be the most grimiest people ever, bro. Cause like females got that lust and shit, can get niggas to do shit like all the other shit. You feel me? Like I was thinking like I could I could have prevented that this whole situation. Like I could prevent it all that. Like all I had to do was like I should have told her like come to my crib. You feel me? And all that. Like he really was worried about me, worried about blood coming my nose and your ass sit there. And this nigga gonna say, I'm like, so why you help? Like this nigga gonna say, bro, I had a gun. But now, but y'all, hold on, listen. But y'all know what he said though. Like he said, I ain't see y'all fighting. My car was too dark. My car was too dark. He said it was too, it was too dark. But you seen the gun. How the fuck did that make any sense? This is like that's like like I just said, but like in 2019, bro, niggas is really scary, bro. Like you feel me? Cause while I was fighting, I ain't feel no guns, like. I ain't said nothing that, because if he really wanted to pop me, bro would have popped me. But, just know that, man, these niggas out here, and these females, ain't shit. Like, just remember that, like, everybody ain't your friend, like, ain't none of that, like, you feel me? Like, yeah, you gonna know who your real niggas is, but, like, a situation like that, bro, like, you gonna know, like, you feel me, who your real friends is, and all that. And then with females though, like, bro, to all you fellas out there, bro, like, if you know your gut, like, some shit that can happen, bro, do not, like, you feel me? Stay, like, tell your gut, like, you feel me? Because, like, you all see your gut, they gonna tell you the real answer, bro. But, man, thank y'all for watching this video, man. It was cool telling that story, man. But, like, if you're new to the channel, man, you gonna subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And, man, after this video, man, y'all gonna like, comment, subscribe, man. You already know what it is, man. It's that 2019 takeover, man. Lonnie, one time, man. Lonnie X, it's your name, man. That's your sign, man. We out this motherfucking, man. Game, bitch. Did the dash and I blow the brains? Dash and I blow the brains.